but us. Mm-hmm. That we Let saw. me stand back up so I can record. That's all has to be on film. Okay, so the video that you showed us, mm-hmm. is that the video where you're saying he made a specific threat to fight you? Yes, multiple he, times. He's saying people in Boca, men and women in Boca is what he said. Fight. They fight. But he didn't say he was going to fight you. So why does he keep on saying that? I'm taking it as a threat. If I'm sitting right here, we're the only two people right here. And he said that about four times in the video. If you don't want to fight, why do you keep on saying men and women in Boca, they fight? This is what he said four times. We're the only two people sitting over here. I'm going to perceive that as a threat at this point. But for, for the assault... He has to give a specific threat or posturing. He stayed seated. He stayed seated. Yeah, okay. true, true. And then he didn't give a specific threat. He just said men and women mm-hmm. in Boca fight. That's what he uh, said okay. four times. Okay. <laughs> okay. We agree but on that. that was, he didn't say I'm going to fight you or he didn't clench his fe- fist, take a posturing stance or anything. So we can pull up the Florida State statute that mm-hmm. says – what an assault is considered. I, I, I'm not saying that he actually, well, Florida's a little bit different. I know of assault for as to, being for, something different. For us to pursue charges mm-hmm. in the state of Florida, he has to have the immediate ability to carry it out, mm-hmm. which if he's sitting here, he could carry some, some type of physical. Yeah, exactly. He, I don't know I what know, weapons hold on, hold on, this guy on, has on him. I'm still finishing. Go ahead. Okay. But. He had his phone in his hand and his other hand was empty. And he did not give a specific threat. I'm going to punch you. I'm going to hit you. I'm going to attack you. Anything. He just said men and women in Boca fight. That's a a vague general statement that numerous people would have different inferences from it. Okay. Okay. So... But for us to charge somebody with assault in the state of Florida... Define assault because I, I I don't know what Florida's assault is. I know what my version of assault. I'm not saying um, that he the, actually touched the, me. The, the statute. I at least want a harassment charges filed because you guys said that I was harassing this person from yesterday by saying that she was a racist. So if 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 I can't say that a person's a racist, how can this guy say... Men and women in Boca, they fight multiple times, and we're the only two people sitting over here. So I, I, I'm, I'm sensing some discrepancies here about harassment. At least I want a harassment charges filed against this guy. Because I'm not saying that he actually touched me. I know he, did, he didn't touch me. Because if he would have touched me, he would be on the ground. He didn't touch me, but sitting up there talking about men and women in Boca fight, Multiple times, and I'm the only one sitting here, and you keep on saying that, that's at least harassment. Because you're saying this to me, and I don't even know you. Okay. I've asked you to move. All right, so I'm reading it. Go ahead. So for assault, an assault is an intentional, unlawful threat by word or act to do violence to the person of another, coupled with the apparent ability to do so. And in doing some act which creates a well-founded fear and such other person that such violence is imminent. Okay. okay. Can you look up harassment now? The Florida State, uh, Florida statute of harassment. Because these things vary in different states. There's different fucking state laws. I'm okay. smart enough to know that. I'll reach the harassment charge. Okay. Don't skip anything out either. <laughs> harassment means to engage in a course of conduct directed at a specific person who causes substantial emotional distress to that person and serves no legitimate hur- purpose. Course of conduct means a pattern of conduct composed of a series of acts over a period of time, which evidence a continuity of purpose. The term does not include constitutionally protected activity such as picketing, organized protest, credible threat. It means a verbal or nonverbal threat or a combination of the two, including threats delivered by electronic communication or applied by pattern of conduct, would place the person who is the target of the threat in a reasonable fear for his or her safety or the safety of his or her family members. So, in the beginning, it specifically said, unwanted what? Re- repeat that. Unwanted what? In the beginning, for harassment. Course of conduct, direct that specific person would cause a substantial emotional distress to that person and serve no legitimate purpose. Exactly. So, we're going to stick with that. You read the Florida statute, emotional distress for no legitimate purpose. He had no legitimate purpose, and I'm saying, just like I told the 911 dispatcher, I'm in fear of my life. Just like the police can say, 
I fear for my life. I fear for my life. He had no legitimate purpose. Harassment better suits what this guy was doing and not assault. I never was going with assault. I was going with harassment to begin with. You, you also got to look at the part of the statute says over a period of time. Over a period of time. He sat here. That video, we can play it back. That video alone was probably about eight minutes. He was here before the eight minutes, which I wasn't recording. It doesn't define what a period of time actually is. And directed at a specific person. He said, people fight. Okay, fight and, and I'm, the, I'm the only person that say, was sitting here. You can say soldiers fight for what they believe in. <laughs> I like this. This is, this is right up my fucking alley. Now, who, who was the only person sitting on this bench? Even him. Exactly. So is it, is it correct to say that if I'm the only one sitting on the bench... He was talking to me, if I'm the only one there. Or was he talking to himself? You were also talking to him. Correct. I was talking to him, trying to get him to move. Did you or did you not hear me ask him to move? The whole purpose for the 911 call was to get him to move. Even when your cop showed up, I was trying to get him to move. So the part that it says that serves no legitimate purpose under the statute of harassment fits this. He had no legitimate purpose to be here because... Even though he lied to your officer about the fucking Wi-Fi and his wife, right? He rode off on his own. He, he never was able to make a phone call out. He never talked to no wife. He never talked to anyone. He just was over here serving no legitimate purpose. Me, I'm actually serving a legitimate purpose. Can I ask you a question? Go right ahead. Okay. So you're sitting there. He's sitting here. Yep. What's my purpose? I actually own a business. Okay. I actually have a okay. business fucking license. But just me... Go ahead. Okay. So you guys start to banter back and forth. No. No, no, hold on. That's not how it happened. He's here, right? And then he, he starts calling you. The... Out the blue. That's how it happened. Okay. I was sitting here okay. first. And then you guys continue. No, to... no. I stopped and fucking picked up my phone and okay. called 911. I know. He's the one that's continuing why I'm calling the police. I, I understand that. But you guys are still engaged. No, we did not engage. You're, you're on the, this this you're is on unwanted contact. See, I'm good at this. Harassment okay. is unwanted contact across the board in America. Okay. No good. matter what the Florida statutes say, a federal court judge or a state judge is going to define harassment okay, as unwanted contact. Okay. But while you're on the phone, he continues to engage you. Correct. Okay. And then during that said time... You also respond back to him here and there, right? Correct? I'm trying to get out of him why he's here. Exactly. So you guys are continuing. That's not engagement. Engagement yeah. is, that's not engagement. Engagement is. You guys are conversing back and forth. No, we're not. I'm trying to get him to leave. It's on one okay. contact. But during that whole time, <laughs> did, he, did he have time to make a phone call is what I'm trying to ask. Yeah. You. Like he had all the time in the world. I didn't want him to, he didn't have to leave the park. Like I said, I just wanted him to move to a different bench. That's all I wanted, okay. because when when the moment that I the soon as he rolled up on me, first and foremost, I don't like people that close. You ever seen the video? And it's a cop video so, where yeah. where you can cover so much distance with a fucking knife. Yeah. They can cover more distance with a knife quicker than you can actually fucking pull your gun. Yeah. I know this because I actually have certain type of training. Okay, me being that I know that. Now, by the way, I've trained with cops too. Since I fucking know this. I don't want you near me. This is a drug addict. If I know, I've seen the video, the cop video. You can cover that much fucking distance very quickly. I don't want to be the one fucking stabbed up. I don't know what this guy has. Right. So our goal here today, if, if I'm not mistaken, is that you would like a report documenting harassment charges against said person. Yes. Technically, yes, but you guys don't even know who he is at this point because she failed to do her job. Hold on, hold on. Can, can we just go th go through our baby steps? Go right ahead. Because I want to make sure I understand what you're asking yep. or and what you're upset about. Okay. So you would like a harassment report? Why he was here? Okay. It's too late now. Okay. But going forward, whenever this happens, because this happens a lot, okay. I just want this to be handled differently. Okay. If this happens again, it, it happens all the time. This ain't the first time. I just want it to be handled differently. Differently, don't put me in a fucking situation, man, where I have to put this guy down over some bullshit. 
So, I don't want to be put in that situation. Right. She she so had the have, opportunity so no, to get him to leave. All right. So we have a, a report that we would like, correct? Correct. Okay. All right. What else would you like? That's it. Okay. I just wanted her. If she, if this cop right here, what you guys fail to realize, I don't always fucking ask for a supervisor. If this cop would have did her job, all she had to do was simply say, Hey, man, because I got other videos where she's telling him don't get on the bike because she knows she, he's drunk. All she had to do was simply say, hey, man, I can take you to jail for being intoxicated in public. If you don't want that to happen, just fucking leave. That's all she had to say. She, she didn't even have to tell him to leave the park. Hey, man, if you don't go to that other bench, I'm going to have to take you to jail for your public intoxication. We're, we're giving him a break at the same time. Do I know the motherfucker's mental? Yeah. Do I know he's fucking on drugs? Yeah. I know all of this shit. There's nothing, there's nothing a cop can do. There's nothing anyone could do about the drug fucking shit right now. It's out of control in America. But don't put me in a situation where I got to deal with this motherfucker. Just tell his ass to go to the other bench. That's it. But, you know, don't, don't sit up there and play like, oh, it's a public park. Yeah, I know it's a public park. Yeah, everybody has a right to be here. That's not what I'm asking. We know he's drunk. When we can, I when we can clearly see this motherfucker is drunk. Do do your do your job as a cop. Don't make me call your supervisor because now it's like I don't want to see nobody go to jail. I didn't I didn't immediately say I want this fucking dude to go to jail because jail ain't gonna help his ass. No jail in the world's gonna help that. All I wanted him to do was move to the other bench. She didn't make this easy for me to just tell him. To move to other bench. She was on a completely different level. Like, 